waiting on God brings down the power of those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength means God will give you a new strength as you wait for him but take note the word clearly says wait on the Lord not on the promises not on the blessings not on the time wait on the Lord focusing on he brings down the power and the strength of God on you now what is the power what is the strength it is simply the anointing of the Holy Spirit as we are waiting at the feet of God, focusing on Him, we are actually gaining the anointing of God. We all need the anointing. Many preachers today, they struggle to preach. When the people are not flowing, they won't preach, they won't continue. Like myself, why? I keep on preaching even if you are tired because the anointing moves me. He strengthens me. So without the anointing, no one can serve the Lord. You can't lead the congregation to worship. You can't lead the people to hear the word of God. It all happens through the anointing. To lead a 10 people, you need anointing. To lead a 30 people, you need higher anointing. To lead a 100 people, another level of anointing. Even to lead a 1000 people, you need another level of anointing. Hallelujah. Imagine on the day when Peter received the anointing, he came out. Okay, 3000 men were saved. What is the reason? A very simple message. See, all of us are worthless. We are useless. We can do nothing with our own strength. That's why God has chosen us. So that His power can be manifest through us. And God has chosen these people who, the apostles who are uneducated, fishermen, who have no knowledge about the word, so that through them He can show the glory of God to the whole world. In a day, in few minutes, they can immediately bring 3,000 people into the Lord. I'm telling you, the anointing can do more than what you have imagined in your life. We all need the anointing. Without the anointing, you can never accomplish the will of God. To serve the Lord, to live this life, even to work as a, a, in any profession in your life. Okay? To work in any profession in your life, to be a good student, all this requires anointing. See, Joseph was anointed to be a good servant in the house of Potipia. Joseph was anointed to be a good prisoner in the prison. For everything, almost everything, we need anointing. To be a good husband, you need to be, have the anointing of the Holy Spirit. To be a good wife, you need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. It means you must be empowered by God to fulfill the purpose of your life. That is anointing. To be a good children, a son, a daughter, to your parents, you need the anointing. That's why Christians must give priority to the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Because He strengthens you to do the will of God. You see, this anointing can never be purchased with money. In book of uh, Acts 8 and 18, we can see a man called Simon, a magician. He tried to offer his wealth, his money to someone, I mean to, to the apostle saying that, I give you this much of money, give me that power. No. It's the time that you spend in the presence of God. The more longer you wait in the presence of God, the more anointed you will be. These are the secret of an anointing. Hallelujah. The price that we pay is by waiting. Hallelujah. And you also must understand, it does not grow in a day. It takes time. In Judges 16, we can see, at the moment, Samson cut off his hair, he lose the anointing. But after he repented, he waited for the hair to grow. Of course, the hair would not grow in a day. Not in a, two days or three days. It would take months. And after months, he got back the same anointing. He was able to push down the pillars. So the more longer you wait in the presence of the Lord, the more you receive the anointing. So waiting in the presence of God is not that looking at the wall, looking up and down, just say, Lord, I praise you, I praise you. No. Heart must be connected to Him. When you soak yourself in the presence of God, when your heart is connected to His heart, the anointing of God shall flow into your heart. And this is where you will become like the fountain of the living water. And when you lead the worship, when you preach, when you pray, you know God is surely there. The people can feel the glory of God. This, this place will go to another realm, which is the realm of the Spirit. That's why anointing is, is very important. Some of you are anointed, but you don't know the value of the anointing. It's like you have a Rolls Royce with your hand, but you don't know how to drive. That's the same thing. The anointing is far more 
valuable than anything that you can see as a valuable thing on this earth. I hope you understand that waiting makes you to be stronger in the spirit. Hallelujah.